After a man was found dead at the Can Roxas Music Festival, questions are now surfacing if the first ever event will return next year. More than 70,000 people attended the two-day event at the Kansas Speedway. Jake Peterson is live with our top story. Hi, Amy. You know, thousands of people are still inside the Kansas Speedway partying right now. But if you go across the street, there are thousands more also spending the night, spending the entire weekend. This has been dubbed Tent City, and this is where that young man died earlier this morning. There are still thousands of questions uh, surrounding his death. They come for the music. And they come for a party. Overall, we've had a very positive event. Um, we had an unfortunate incident this morning. Kansas Speedway President Pat Warren is talking about the death of a young man this morning. He says thousands of people spend the entire weekend on the Speedway grounds camping out. Police say the man's friends checked on him this morning in his tent and he wasn't breathing. One of the unfortunate side effects of doing a big event is we're like a small city for the weekend. We're, it's the same thing on our NASCAR weekends. And with that comes all the good and bad things that happen with a small city. Uh, and and that's why we've got a large police presence out here. And they have dozens of medics and hydration stations on hand. I know the importance of hydration. Partygoers like Morgan Moravec and Sarah Hefley say they are filling up with water. They don't know how the man died, but they've seen the negative impact too much heat and alcohol can have. I think there's people out there that might just drink alcohol all day, and um, it's definitely important to stay hydrated with water. Organizers are hoping to make this an annual event, but going forward will depend on how the man died. We've really got to wait and see what happens with the investigation to, to be able to make any decision about how this could affect next year. And definitely plenty of party goers out here. We want to also clarify, there are not thousands of questions around his death, but they really do not know how he died at this point. They're still looking into that. The party does go on here until 4 a.m., and then these campers are allowed to stay here until noon tomorrow. They have not released the man's name, and we'll bring that to you when that is available. For now, we are live here in KCK. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.